We already packed the turtle pack, so we'll set that aside for now. Now, what we're going to do is go for the spider bag, get that loaded up really quick, and we are almost done. So, like a, the common theme with the rest of the bag, I mean, the spider bag is totally pliable. Use your imagination. Whatever you want to put in here, cram it in there. Roll it up, cram it in. It depends on how much time you've got and how much space you've got. As you can see, socks, undershorts, swimsuits, it all goes in here. You don't have to be... Uh, with this amount of clothes, you don't have to be too careful about how you put it in there because it's all going to fit right on the back side of that travel bag. So we've got our coat here. I'm just going to cram that in here too. And can just make sure it's even so that when uh, you start buckling it on, you don't have a, a big lumpy spot that you have to manage. So just kind of move things around here, get it in there. We've already got our bathroom stuff in here, so we don't have to worry about putting that in there again. Now. What we want to do is put the turtle pack on now. So we'll find the top of the bag, where the look for the logo, and put it up. Now, the zipper on the turtle pack goes to the back of your head when you're wearing it. So that's going to go. To, the zipper is going to go towards the shoulder straps. Set it up there, and just look for for your strap combination. Here's the male buckle. It's going to go right onto the female buckle, and clip in. Now I would advise you to lay the bag down when you're doing it. I'm just standing it up for the purpose of demonstration. It'd be a little bit easier than uh, where, the way I'm struggling with the bag right now. Okay, so we'll take the adjustment out of the mail buckle here. Go ahead and strap that on there. Spin it around and we will find the buckle that's kind of looking up for it and strap that in there. Okay, now as we're starting to put the turtle pack on here, just look for the buckles that made up with it. It's kind of common sense. Just don't be confused with the, the buckles that you're going to put, uh, attach the spider bag onto the side. Those, those six buckles on the, that go down the sides and then the one on the very, very bottom. Okay, we'll lay this down and start prepping for putting the spider bag on the back side. So we'll take our adjustments and kind of suck them up here, make sure everything's good and tight so it's going to ride nice. So we've got our travel bag now with our turtle pack securely attached to the top of it. So let's lay the whole unit down. Uh, we've got our sandals out here because I'm going to lay them in the middle here and we're just going to compress them in. Now you could use your sandals that way. You could put a fleece coat in here, a blanket, anything you want. Okay, here we go. So let's keep in mind now that we're going to be using the three side buckles on each side. Some on this side, the three on this side, and we've got one on the bottom. And that's exactly where this is going to attach to the whole system. So we'll go ahead and lay it down. Let's lay our sandals. Actually, let's leave our sandals here for a second. We'll buckle in one side of the spider bag, and then we'll lay the sandals in, and then we'll fold it over. So let's just lay it the way it is going to naturally fall on the bag. So we'll put a logo up. So it's facing the same way as the logo that's on the bag of the other bag, which you can see from your perspective. We'll take the, the number one strap here. And we'll go ahead and stretch it down and, and open it all the way up, uh, take all the adjustment out of it, and go ahead and strap it in, or click it in. Same thing with the other ones. We'll go ahead and take the adjustment out. Now, the spider bag comes with elastic keepers on the bag. Feel free to pull the D-ring through that. Feel free to take them all the way off. It depends. They're, they're there just in case you want to tuck them uh, away just to keep everything nice and tight. Uh, but you get a little bit more of adjustment if you a little bit more adjustment if you pull the D-ring back through the elastic. So go ahead and take the adjustment out of this side as well. We'll go ahead and spin it around here, and I'll spin it for for you to see. And we'll clip this bottom buckle here. Take the adjustment out of that. Clip it. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sneak those sandals in there. So we'll just go ahead and raise it up here a little bit. Figure out which way those sandals want to go in there, just kind of naturally, and we'll tuck them in there. And we'll give it a little bit of a pull, take the adjustment out on this side, and go ahead and snap it together. Now, after we get all these snapped together, we'll go around the bag systematically and tighten these all up. Okay, so we'll just give it a little bit of a pull here on this side, a little bit of a pull the same place on the other side, just sucking it up a little bit. Like I say, you don't want to pull too hard because you can probably, you're strong enough to tear the bag or pull it apart. And then on the bottom. Now, as you notice, the adjustment is hanging out in this configuration just a little bit. This is a perfect time to show you 
one more aspect of the bag. Like I said before, there's just nothing about this bag. There's, no, there's not many square inches of this bag that we haven't figured out a usage for. So on the bottom of the bag, as you'll see, there's this little pocket. It's got an, a little tab on it that you can pull and a little Velcro enclosure here. This is kind of a neat deal here. We, uh, we really like this. We came up with this. Uh, it's, it's another way just to carry a towel or a blanket or anything you want. So go ahead and pull this, open up the Velcro, pull on the tab. Inside is elastic cord and a lot of it. So what we're going to do with this is pull it out, untangle it a little bit. Now, the way that this works is you're going to take the elastic cord and run it down through the D-ring on the very bottom of the bag. Now, the way we've engineered this to work, or the way we've created it to work, is to use the D-rings that are hanging as tie points for the elastic cord. And we're going to run the elastic cord back and forth shoelace style to create another storage area on the back where you can put a blanket or, or you know, anything you want. You get the point. Okay, so what we need to do now that we're going to use the elastic cord is there's a, a little dog clip buckle in here that it's a, the swivel buckle similar to the one that's on the shoulder strapper and on the handle that hooked the fin caddy. But we need to, I want to show you where it is and I want to show you how to gain access to it. It's sewn in and it lives right underneath the turtle pack. So you have your little clip here and this is where the ends are going to clip. So we're going to lace it up and we're going to pull it through and we're just going to clip the cord right into that, just like that, both of them. So we'll have two loops hooked into there and that's what's going to create our storage space on the back. Now when I put the turtle bag back down, you may not be able to see my hand hooking this, but now that I've shown you, you'll have an idea or the concept of what's going on. So we'll go ahead and secure the turtle bag back down here now that I've shown you the swivel clip. And we'll lay it back down. And start lacing it up. So we'll take it and just start on one side and it's just super simple. Just lace it through one side and then the other. And stretch it up here and it's really durable so don't be afraid to, to really stretch it. Now, I'm going for that swivel clip now because I've got my loop. So I'm just going to reach in and hook it on the swivel clip. It's a lot easier than uh, to see it when you're in my perspective with the bag clipping it than from yours at this point from the camera angles. But what we'll do, we'll clip that on there. Okay, now I've got one side, now let's do the other side. So we'll make sure that the, the cording is, is distributed somewhat evenly because if you get too much on one side, not enough slack, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for you to, to get the other side laced up. So you just kind of choke it up a little bit here and go through the other side. So we'll lace it, like I say, shoestring style, easy for me to say shoestring style and we'll go ahead and lace it up the other side. Okay, so now we're hooking it through the last D-ring on this side before it goes into the swivel clip. So go ahead and stretch it up here. We'll pull that loop through the last D-ring, reach up to the top of the swivel clip here and just snap it right in. And uh, we'll have a great place to put a, something light, something small, something that you may want to access quickly in the airport, just uh, hide your blanket or your uh, I keep saying blanket, but your, your fleece coat, whatever you want. All right, so we're pretty much set. You can use this or not, but it's there for you just in case. So with that said, we're just about there. Uh, this, as you can tell, is very easily stowed into the overhead compartment. If by chance uh, you decide that you can't get it into the overhead compartment or uh, a gate agent decides uh, when you actually get down to the airplane that you know, sorry ma'am, you can't take this bag on. Sorry sir, it's too big. We don't think it's going to fit. You've got options. One thing you can do to avoid checking the bag is just take the spider pack off. Take it off and basically what you're going to be able to do is take this carry-on as your personal item and just go ahead and, and take this the, the pack, the travel pack system on as a backpack and just throw it in the overhead and you can shove this under the seat in front of you. Basic, 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 super simple stuff. So anyway, that is the ins and outs of the Dive Caddy travel bag system, complete with the turtle pack, the spider bag, and the fin caddy inside. 
Uh, thanks for taking the time to go through our demonstration today. I hope you'll get many years of enjoyment and travel uh, with your, your dive bag system and, and being able to get there with your gear. There's no sense in having the best gear on the planet if you can't get there with it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact our website and send us an email at www.divecaddy.net. Thank you.